Hello everyone, I'm Zen and welcome back to Horrors of the Underdark. And yes, we already know something here, Synth Desti. The thing we got here says this means 54 or 54. And they speak their names basically, I think. There's control panels here. And actually I died last episode because of a natural one. We failed our constitution save uh, for poison and I guess we were taken to, to zero and we died. That's probably the reason. Uh, let's see, my wounds, dark fire, show it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, some gold. Potion of speed. We've got two little gold. Synth testy, okay. Hello, maybe this. Oh, okay. Uh, 54. 50. 54. Hello, I want to kill you. Taste of my wrath! Okay, hostility is destroyers away from me. Okay, so this destroys those golems, which is nice. Okay, we can go to a different room then. Burger rogue, there's a stone golem. Soleno Savat. Oh, there's a guy behind us. Okay. You die, okay. Still have the power attack. They have a lot of HP. Okay, that's nice. Oh, this was trapped. This Marco here. I dislike this place. Oh no, my sword. My sword killed me. Get. I'm a little bit fucked. Let's see if they have any weapons we could use. Ah. Okay then. This is a piercing arrow. Let's use the fire ones. I mean the lightning. What should I do? Huh. This is fine. This is nice. Can't we do anything here? Sunbeam? I don't think this would work. Uh, let's, let's drink our potion of cure kithal. Yeah, my weapon has really high, <laughs> really high attack. Okay, I do want to drink two more of those. One more, maybe. And maybe Cat's Grace. I think I had one. Should be so useful. Yeah. Okay. Reduction of resistance. So they are resistant to lightning. What about fire? You don't kill Pekin. Oh, yes. Something killed it. I'm not sure what. Oh, so those are all strong weapons, I guess. I want my weapon back. My Holy Avenger. 
Okay. Let's let's say it's wanted to protect me. And killed itself. We want this warhammer. Just do this maybe. Something got something got opened. Got so the war of the war axe plus three okay. Busted sword and axe. Helmet. Barcode's helmet. Immunity to critical hits. It's actually a really nice helmet. Markle's hammer. Uh, it's good against constructs. Okay. Markle himself has light. Okay, it's a plus five armor. Resistance to bludgeoning. So also against against uh, constructs. But I can't wear it. Okay. There's also the skeleton here. It's a golden necklace. Okay, that's fine. Long sword plus. Great sword plus. Okay, let's. Let's put the plate arm in here because this is heavy. This Sorry about that. Uh, I I hit my uh, hit my microphone a little bit. Becomes heavier. This is actually heavier. Those here. Or maybe just open. One is a little bit heavy. Yeah, sure, put those. Okay, great. Can we rest? Oh, we can. That's nice. We have only one slot, because why would we have more? Fire breath. Crusher. Okay, I don't see any, any other weapons, so let's go further there's a guy here maybe so we have one blue powder oh we have a yellow and red nice so what we can do is we can do the golem rod or golem or magical crystal the one red or the one yellow but I don't think we have a magical rod we do have the crusher those lights here I think this would rod helmet is thick in half Haste, fire resistance, and dexterity. This is just mind blank. And no. Okay, maybe there is a thing here. No, there is not. Okay. Was do something? A ah, shit. Not this. No. I imagine. That. I can't really do anything. As long as I don't roll a one. Well. Okay. Go here. Oh, clay golems. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Yeah, as, as long as they try and attack me, it should be in the right. Okay. One of them. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, at least I can kill this one. Yeah, you die. And the other one. 
Damn, we are very close to level 20. This focus. Oh, there's another clay golem there. What are you doing here, son of a bitch? Son of a maker. Why are you killing Deacon? No, kill Deacon. Oh, two fours in a row, okay. See the spookies. We already have both of those, right? So I guess maybe this chest has golden rods. Okay. Potion of bless and death armor. Here. So I need one blue. Let's let's go back to the alchemist. Chemist table and do that thing. Uh, that was the golden rod, one blue, one yellow. Yep, the golden binder, which does. Oh, it's it's slowing the golems. It's not that good, but uh, oh, whatever. The Golden Crusher is the best one, I guess. That's why we got this, uh, the items first. Okay, let's do this. Let the Earth take you! Let the Earth take you! Oh, it hit me. And my armor did the thing during night. Why can't I hit him? Oh, yeah, because I'm rolling shit. Two, four. 1, 4, 8, 10, 10, 5, 1. It's really bad. Well, at least I have very high survivability and magical crystal. <laughs> I heard Deacon laughing. Okay, I need one blue uh, powder. Uh, we don't care about that one. Yeah, they, those two are gonna try to do their, their thing a few times. As long as they can't attack me, they are gonna do that. Oh! Deacon failed his save against... I mean, this one failed his save against Deacon. Okay, we wanna kill you. Yes. Not sure what that was. Let's check the chest. Oh, we have one blue bow. Right. One of the missiles again. Lang. Oh, we can use this? Only usable by Paladin. Huh. This is a Paladin's bow? Not sure. Actually, it is. Plus one attack bonus and plus three sonic damage bonus. Uh, hmm, okay. Okay, let's check again the alchemist lab. Um, oh, and we actually want to go here to see it. Uh, mm -hmm. This thing is the golden attractor. Oh, luring golems, deadly, deadly traps. Oh, but if I have it on me, do they try to attack me all the time? I hope not. Okay, let's just go here and check. There's this. Oh. Unmaking, okay, it's a rogue usable short sword, gives dexterity, enhancement plus 5 and cancer plus 8. As okay, you want this. Though I'm not sure if this gives you haste. 
this is a plus five against undead. Uh, some dexterity, same as here. Oh, this is basically the same thing, right? Yeah, it's basically the same thing. So we are gonna give her this here, and maybe. What we should do, I don't think she cares about her haste. Oh, why... Why does this not give her... I mean, I understand she's got less... Does this... What's the difference here? Oh no, the dexterity. Okay, yeah, I understand. She gets plus two from dexterity. That's why she's got better attack on her left, uh, right hand. On her left hand, that's plus sixteen, or a is it here plus twenty two. So this is better like this. Even than without haste, she's better like this. Ah shit, it's an iron golem. Okay, let's just kill him like this. And hit him as many times as we can while Divine Mark is still active. Yeah, and because she has that acid damage and plus 8 against constructs, that's really good. That's a really good bonus. I still have divine. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I still have it. Okay, great. I mean, it's a okay place to farm, I guess. We still got experience for both of them, I guess. That ranked. Okay, I see it here. Iron Golem. Yeah, we both we got experience for both. So, we could technically farm here. Let's just go here, maybe there's something here. Oh, yeah, sure, let's do it like this. Too bad, using items is so slow here. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, cannot. And this didn't open actually. Okay, so I guess this is maybe some kind of shortcut. Uh. It's fine. A rat. I guess if I was a druid or ranger, maybe I could have uh, speak to them. Oh, hello. Hello, guardian golem. You are overpowering. What if I crush you? Lazand. Oh, okay, I understand. Lazand means. Uh, here, 79. If I use 79 on you, you're gonna die. But how about I just fuck you up here, like this? Okay, how much HP do you have right now? Oh, she is strong. Okay, maybe, maybe I just want to go somewhere else. He doesn't seem to be moving, so... Dickin, Dickin, you just follow me, maybe? You follow me. Let's just try. Yeah, Dickin is immune to knockdown, I guess. I do want to get experience from, for him, so... I want to make sure sh he is gonna die like this. Oh, he's near death. Okay, how about we still have legending? No. Let's use Divine Might. And let's try killing. No, no, we wanna go away. We wanna go away, lay my hands on myself. And then we wanna kill. Yeah. 2116 experience points. 
Let's use this on Akira. Oh no, she's dead. Yeah, right. I forgot. She's standing, so I wasn't sure. Uh, he didn't drop anything. That's that's sad. I wish he dropped something nice. But yeah, we wasted all of our charges on the mithril statue, so it wasn't really that useful, was it? Let's go downstairs then. Oh, there's something happening. We have dwarves. Baron's rebellion will fail. Bow down to Agaz now or be destroyed. Agaz has no claim over any of us. Why do you follow him? Agaz was appointed by the Maker. He must rule until the Maker returns. I mean, the Maker is dead, I guess. The Maker is dead. Agaz rules only for Agaz. We will never bow down to him. I guess I should help the dwarves. Which one can we help? Oh, there's bronze golems and basically the both of them. Okay. I should I just kill everyone. I guess maybe we can use one of them to help us. Yeah, I think we can use the bronze golems to help us. Didn't give me much experience. The silver gold. I mean, they are effortless. So. How about you guard? What's what's happening? That's sure. Oh, they're here. Okay. Right now, yeah. It's bullshit. That's what it is. You should help me. Because she has asset damage on herself. And once more, the brave adventurer sauntered forth. Mm, sauntered? Uh, sallied? Uh, sashayed, maybe? Maybe. Perish. Yeah? You could maybe cast a fireball on me. That would be nice. Yeah, especially since flesh golems are very weak to fire. That would be best. Oh, it hits. My attack has no. Oh, no, no effect on this guy. That seems bullshit. Heck, they can hit me for anything. Thirty-eight. I have forty-one. So even. Only with a 20, they can hit me. And then another 20 to confirm a clear hit. Because the confirmation only has to be a hitting roll. My attack has no effect. Okay, so... He has oh he has lust so this shouldn't be really a play golem. Well, well, he can help me. I'm not sure where he is. I guess somewhere here, but we should, I guess we should use the good side. Well, okay, now I see them at least. I don't think it doesn't seem to... Lab notes, okay. These appear to be notes detailing the maker's efforts to create sentient golems. I have given my creation the divine spark, the awareness of and free will of a sentient being, yet even with this they are somehow flawed. It is as if they do not know how to exist without a master. They need to be given a purpose in life, they seem capable of discovering a purpose of their own. Okay. We will be giving these trolls to the kin. Oh, hello, flesh golem. Ah, he is fixing. 
Okay, because they want to make an alliance or something. This golem approaches you cautiously, and it is quite obvious that it isn't hostile. You have no further need of your weapons creature of flesh. We have no wish to do battle with you. Agas wishes there to be peace. Okay, what you're talking what are you talking about? Agas, the maker's anoint, uh, anointed has recognized your strength and power. He wishes to speak with you. Come with me and I will take you to him. He wishes to discuss peace. How do I know this isn't a trick? Yeah. Agas wishes peace. He has instructed me to bring you to him. I must follow my instructions. Golem seems confused, as if the very concept of disobeying an order is inconceivable. Okay, take me to him then. Take me to your master. Where is Agas? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm, he looks more like a demon or something. He is impossible for me to kill. Okay, so this is the boss here, I guess. This. Seven of the flesh golems, two clay ones. Sunbeam maybe will hurt some of them. Okay, much to your surprise, the golem in this room does. The golems in this room do not attack you. A single construct, seemingly made of the flesh of demons, steps forward to address you. We have no quarrel with you. I am Agaz, high priest of the Maker and leader of the sentient golems on this island. Oh, a high priest of the Maker? We are the children of Alsagard the Maker, who gave us the gift of life itself. Being the strongest, the Maker saw fit to anoint me his high priest, to deliver his word and will to his other children. Okay, but if he's dead, how do you know what he wants? Unless maybe he's a god right now, and because you worship him, you get spells? Though golems, we are different than the mindless constructs that wander the level above. We are creatures of intelligence and will, beings of true self-awareness. Okay. When the Maker descended to his inner sanctum, we were given the task of guarding this place from those who would destroy his work, like the Durga who loot the remains of our fallen siblings. Okay. But I sense you are not like those Durga thieves. It seems you have come here for a different reason. That is why we parley with you now under a state of truce. Okay, I understand, but uh, every every golem I saw was attacking me here. He lost uh, a deep rumbling sound, a series of mistakes and misfortunes. The golem in the golems in this level above uh, no, no better. They have no will of their own. As for those of us in this level, uh, at first we thought you were common thieves, like the Dwerger who loot the level above. Later we feared you might be working for the heretic Ferran. This is a time of war. Those who are not our allies are assumed to be enemies, even a non-construct such as you. I apologize for this, but it is Ferran who has driven us to this. Why are you at war? Long have we served the will of the Maker, living in peace while we guard this island against those who would destroy his divine board. But now an enemy has risen up from among our own ranks. A golem known as Perrin has turned his back on the divine word. He claimed that we owe the Maker nothing, and we are free to do whatever we please. His lies have fooled many of the Maker's children. Yeah, I mean, it said in the book. That the maker was sad because they didn't have a will of their own, so Fern is in the right. We should be careful here, Gregory. I know how strongly people can feel about their beliefs. We don't want to get caught up in the middle of a religious war. Fern has turned many of the golems against me, the rightful ruler in the maker's absence. He has brought violence to this holes, but the war is not easily won. Both sides are too evenly matched. And you want my help. I only want to end this war. Golem against golem is a terrible thing. We are destroying what, ma what the Maker has created. But Baron will not rest until I am overthrown.
Ah shit, I should have gone south first. I want you to bind Baron and destroy him. Without, the, without their leader, his vile teaching will wither and die. Bring me Farron's side and you will forever be an ally of the Maker's children. Okay, but if I help you, you have to help me then. I guess listens as you describe the Vulturesque and Knots. If you destroy Farron, I will send my golems to aid your rebels in their battle against the Vulturesque. Return to me with Farron's head to prove the heretic has been destroyed and I will honor my end of the bargain. Now is there something else? No, uh, I'll be back. I hope this didn't. This doesn't mean uh, I have to kill uh, Farron. Goodbye, human male. I wish you success against Farron and his blasphemous followers. Bring me the head of the heretic, and when the time comes, I will send my golems to aid you in your battle against the Vulturess. I mean, I don't think he would. This would go against the teachings of the master, as he says. So. I'm not sure. Well, this is the end of this episode, so thanks for watching and remember, if you liked it, push the like button. If you dislike this episode, push the dislike button and if you want to see more of my videos in the future, subscribe to the channel. So, until next time.